want to do is give Tylenol to a baby who's just been vaccinated. You're basically guaranteeing that that baby's going to have more trouble detoxing. So what happens with acetaminophen is that it's processed in the liver. The liver, it, it depletes your body of glutathione. Glutathione is an enzyme that you need to help you rid yourself of toxins. Think of it as nature's mop or nature's broom. It's the thing that gets rid of the toxins. When you give a child acetaminophen, you're compromising their liver's ability to produce glutathione, which is compromising their body's ability to detoxify. It's a perfect storm. 1959, Tylenol was introduced, and it was heavily pushed as a replacement for aspirin. Um, I grew up on Tylenol. Every time I had a sniffle, I had Tylenol. And the 80s, 90s, we started with the increasing vaccination. So for three generations, we're seeing children are losing their sense of heat. And what we're seeing is each generation goes by, we're seeing an increased amount of dysfunctions that I say are all related to lack of heat. And so that's everything from stillbirths to SIDS to autism to ADHD, asthma, this is, these are all diseases from lack of heat. There's also a bunch of data right now in the literature about pregnant women that use acetaminophen while they are pregnant or shortly after, their children do have increased asthma, ADHD, behavioral disorders, sensory disorders. There is actually a study coming out from a team of researchers from Duke and Harvard University. It'll be published in the next few weeks and it shows all of the, it's a huge literature review of everything we know about acetaminophen, the main ingredient in Tylenol. And it's a very, very concerning. We have in vivo studies, meaning in petri dishes, we have studies in epidemiology that shows that the more exposure to Tylenol, the worse the health outcomes. Children should never take Tylenol. And unfortunately, most doctors are not keeping up with the scientific literature. They have no idea how dangerous acetaminophen is. You know, I'm